course. Look at that, it'll hold a wheelie all the way across the paddock. Hi guys, Simon from RCLB's Gold Coast. We're going to talk about um, a car that we're putting together called the Traxxas Rustler. This car's been around for a long time. You can buy it in standard form. Standard form would be a brushed electric motor uh, with a basic AM radio and very basic equipment on the car. When I say a brushed motor, that's the old-fashioned brush motor. So if you went to buy the Traxxas Rustler from our shops in standard form, uh, the car would come in at $349, which is pretty much a market price wherever you go. That's for a standard one. None of these here are standard. All these are made in-house. They're fully modified with all the option parts. We'll go through it and we'll talk about what we've um, included with the car. The car is also available in another way which we can buy standard as a Traxxas VXL. The VXL would have a Valenian motor in there, uh, a Traxxas speed controller, and that car, depending on where you're buying, it, would be between, uh, price-wise, I think around Queensland, between $430 to $500. That's a standard VXL Traxxas Rustler. All of these, as I said, none of these are standard. None of these are built in a standard form. They're all custom built. So we'll pull the body off this one here. We do an array of colors. This one here, we've got like a nice candy red color. We've got some in oranges, some in chrome silvers, one over here in metallic green. A lot of options in colors with these cars. Um, if we don't have it in stock and you say, look, I want a particular color, we can certainly do something for you as there. So I'll put the body down for that one there. So we'll start off with this car here. So what have we got on the car that's not standard? We run RPM Arms, so RPM Arms on the front, RPM Arms on the rear. RPM's a company that makes aftermarket parts for RC cars. Very durable, super strong, and pretty much you'd never replace the things unless you destroyed it, but very strong. Uh, RPM Shock Towers, so in here we have our RPM Shock Towers. That's how they come, that's an RPM Shock Tower. One in the front, also one in the rear. Then if we move around the shock absorbers on this car, these are the Traxxas Big Bore Alloy Shocks. So they run nitrided shafts, alloy bodies, alloy caps. We've got them on front and rear. Um, that's how the shocks come if you go to buy them yourself. Paying around $99 for a set of those shocks. Uh, into the steering department of this car, we include with the car a Savox waterproof eight kilo metal geared servo. So that comes standard with the car. That's an $88 servo. That comes in with the car. So the steering is not only really smooth and really precise, it's pretty much as good as you're gonna get. Uh, we include the standard Traxxas receiver box. That's waterproof, runs an O-ring in it, sealed up, really nice unit. Then we go into the electronics package of the motor and speed controller. This one here, we include our own Hobbywing brand 80 amp speed controller. So big speed controller. It also comes with a custom fan on there. So it's got a fan standard. Motor-wise, the car's running a 4,000 kV uh, four-pole motor. Heaps of power, more than what you'd ever need. We'll go through that later on, but more power than what you'd ever need. We do put tall gearing in this, so the gearing is quite tall. 8326, that's the 83 for the spur gear, 26 for the pinion. So it's got lots of legs. It's only a two-wheel drive car. It doesn't have any heat dramas with this big motor in there. It does the job very comfortably. All right, we'll turn the car around here, have a bit more of a look. We include the wheelie bar as standard for the uh, Rustler, but we do include standard the ball bearing race wheels, which are far better than the plastic jobs. The plastic jobs just sort of chew the wheels up. These do have a little tendency to tear up the tyres and stuff on them. If you do happen to tear the tyres up, it's probably a good idea. We keep them on the shelf. So there's little replacement tyres for them. It doesn't have to be on the wheelie bar all the time, but with the power we've got, and depending on how the car's set, uh, height and stuff, it will go through the wheels. Uh, but that's pretty easy consumable part. Just depends on how you're driving the car and how you're looking after it. Uh, other things in the car, standard, it runs four wheel drive axles. So we include four wheel drive axles. Standard, they run like a small 1951 axle on them. These have got the four wheel drive axles that you'd see in a four wheel drive slash. It's a much heavier in the axle department. Just go through some of the parts here. When you buy this package here, it'll come with a LiPo battery. We include the aluminium case uh, LiPo, so that's standard with the car. So with the car, comes with the 80 amp speed controller, waterproof, uh, Hobbywing brand, 4,000 kV motor, tons of power. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of parts that come into this car that bring it up to a standard that we're really happy with. Usually the problem is someone will buy a cheap Rustler, uh, brushed in form, yeah, they may pay $329, $349 for the car. The motor will burn out, which is like inevitable, especially when you're talking with brush motors. Sometimes it can happen as quick as like one battery. That's why we're not a fan of them at all. Um, if they paid 
329, 349 for the car, they'll be in for a brushless system. The brushless system we include is much bigger than a lot of the cheap systems on the market. A cheap system they could buy off eBay or anywhere from, from 99 to 150. That car's just gone from the 349 mark to $500. It won't come with a lithium battery. Most people will be chasing a lithium battery. A good quality one, you'll pay $85 for every day of the week for a good quality one. That car's just hit $585. When you buy the uh, Traxxas Ruster and Standard form, you'll get a radio, which will be an AM crystal radio. They do not like running with brushless systems, and it's a headache, so you'll need a 2.4. Here's another feature that this car comes with. We include the latest MXV radio. Um, great little radio, 10 model memory. Waterproof receiver already sitting in a waterproof receiver box. Uh, with this radio, you've got plenty of functions such as EPA, throttle EPA, steering EPA. It's all adjustable. One feature this has that we will show in the video in action is a governor mode. So what we can do is we can adjust the car from basically walking speed for young children up to flat out power and everywhere in between. When the car is turned down on the EPA, so we show you how to do that when you come in and buy a car, you can turn it down, the runtime will go huge. So when I say huge runtime, you could expect an hour plus out of one battery. Once that battery is flat, if you've got more on the go, just put another one in and keep driving. If you wanted to run 10 batteries through this car, just keep doing it because the electronics package in the car is big enough that it will take it all day. Uh, it's even capable of free cell battery, which is 11.1. .1. Do you need that much power? Not really, but everyone's a bit of a speed junkie and the car will be rocket fast, but expect bigger crashes and all the rest of it. So that is the radio it comes with. Tire-wise, we got uh, this latest tire that we run on the car. That's a Pioneer tire. Really great tread pattern. Really good for grass, dirt, rocks, all that sort of stuff, a bit of mud. It gets along in the grass really well. As you'll see on the video of the car running, we're running through a grass paddock with probably two inch, three inch long grass and it just powers through it. Um, so they're a fantastic tire in grass, rocks, dirt and mud. This is a tire here. Uh, which is a road tyre. Great little tyre. If you say I'm just going to run on the bitumen around the park or, you know, concrete, wherever you're running on concrete, bitumen stuff, fantastic road tyre. You're trying to do some speed runs, that's a tyre you want to put on. You can buy the cars with that option. So if you said, look, I don't really want to run on the grass, rock, dirt, I want a road tyre, we'll just change the wheels over for you, okay? So that's another option for the car. So yeah, this car suits basically people that want to buy something better than standard rather than upgrading it. It's not for everyone, but uh, if you want something that you don't want to have to buy a car, keep upgrading it, this is the car for you. Price-wise, how much is the car? The car comes in at $7.99. That includes the radio, all the gear that we show here. Uh, if we break the car down into price-wise in parts, it goes over $830 just in parts without the chassis and the rest of the stuff. So just think twice before you buy stuff. If you want to do the cheaper way, it can be upgraded, but it will always cost you more in the long run. Basically, you always just get what you pay for. So if you buy something cheap, there's a reason it's cheap. So yeah, that's our little uh, rustler. I uh, hope you just like it. Hi guys, Simon RC Hobbies Gold Coast. This is our Traxxas Rustler, our custom car. So it's got all our options that we fit to it. Um, really good fun car. This is a beautiful little paddock for it. So if you want a car that'll roar along the paddock, um, this is the one. Now this is on 7.4 volt. I'll show you how she goes and we'll have a bit of a run. If you can hear something barking in the background, that's my dog. Really fun little car this. So it'll rip across the paddock. Gets the wheels up at any speed. Except for those nag pies. Now this, this car also has the governor that we spoke about, so you can turn the power down on it for kids. Get a wheelie happening. So it's a great grass paddock cruiser. Get some wheelie, we'll put the power on now. Yeah, up she goes. Look at that, it'll hold a wheelie all the way across the paddock, this thing. Plenty of power. This is only on the 7.4, so it's got more power again if we go on 11.1, .1, but this is all we'd recommend. Power on. 
Wheelie bar certainly helps. This is quite sort of tall grass, so but the tyres certainly help. Here we go. Except for that dog watering thing there. Very fast little car. You'd expect about, out of these, 7.4 volt, the gearing we set them up, they're going to get around 45, 46 mile an hour. They handle really well too. All right guys, now I'm going to show you, this car has a governor on it. So if you have young children, you say, look, I want the kids to play with this car, it has a governor. Right now I've got it set at the lowest speed, so this is the lowest speed. So if you've got three year old kids that want to play with the car, you can turn it down. The car's fully adjustable. So that's a real low speed. Wouldn't take long kids to master that one. I'll just turn him up a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, it's a little bit faster. We'll turn him up a bit more. Okay. That's still less than quarter throttle. And we'll turn him up some more. Okay, that's sort of just under half now. I'll turn him up some more from there. Okay, we're over half now. And obviously it's picking up the pace. So basically you can govern the car. And we show you how to do that when you pick them up. Okay, that's just over three quarters. Obviously it's picking up the speed again now. And we'll turn him up the flat out. All the power's back on now. And... And she's a little weapon, she is. So yeah, that's our little rustler. Heaps of fun, we'll run him and go over here now. Alright guys, so that's our little Traxxas Rustler, if you want to know more about it just drop into the shop and we'll tell you all about it, but great fun little car, just like our Stampede, plenty of fun, can be governed for kids, and um, yeah, long run times when they govern.